Hello, this is Daba1890. You can just call me Daba. And so I'm going to show you how to do a screenshot today. This is for Windows 7 and Windows 8. I will also be showing you how two different ways you can use the Windows Snip tool, which I'll show you what that is. And I will also show you how to use the print screen key on your keyboard. Alright, so first of all, let's say that you want to get an image that you like, like this for instance. I don't want the whole screen, I don't want the, all these pictures, I just want this image right here. And So you can hit your start button. If you're in Windows 7, you just hit the start button. Click here. Type snip tool. I'm sorry, snipping tool right there. Click that. And it'll open up like this. And so what you do is you click new. You click new like that. It'll open up like this. Now see how it's all dark? So now you click where you want, you highlight what you want to copy. So I want to copy just that picture. And now it has this picture here. So you can um, have a highlighter here if you want to highlight text. They have a marker here like pens you can draw on it and stuff um, you don't need to do all this but this is just extra fun stuff uh, so and if you don't like it you just hit new again just like I did and then you can re redo it so let's, let's say I accidentally get that much now I don't want this area right here I could just hit new and then redo it just re you just click and hold and drag the little box alright now this is one way one way to uh, get a screenshot. The other way is to. There's actually three ways. I'm going to show you a third way too. Third way I personally use. So the first way is to do this. And you hit File, Save As. You want to make sure this says Desktop. And then you want to save this as something that you're going to remember. The Snip tool will always save it as Capture and it will always save it as a PNG. So this you don't have to worry about too much. Uh, as long as that says PNG or JPG, well, here you go. Yeah, as long as it says any of these, you're, then you'll be good. You don't, you don't ever have to change this. Just this, if you want to change the name. So you just hit save, and then did you, did it already exists. Yes. So now if I want, so that's one way to do it. The other way is to. Let me do it. Let me pull up a keyboard right here. Let's see if we have a virtual keyboard. No. Keyboard. All right. So right there. See where it says print screen. On a laptop, it'll say PTR SC. And so um, your computer should have it. And so you could tap give that key a tap and then once you do that nothing will really happen but it'll copy the entire image like I just hit it and so all this is now copied so now you click here on the left if you're in Windows 7 type uh, paint And then, where is my mouse? All right. So now you take your, you go to file. I'm sorry. You right click. I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. Yeah, you just click paste right there. And so as you can see, this is the screen that I had. If I go over here. No, I want my screen. I want this. See, this is the screen that I had right here. Oh my goodness. So paint. See, these are the same. All right. So then, this is for if you want to do the whole screen. The snip tool is only for like if you want to do specific parts of the screen. Like here. Are, like for instance, if I just wanted this keyboard picture and not the whole thing, where the way I'm showing you now is if you want the whole screen. And so again, you just hit File, Save As. If this doesn't say Desktop, you can click right here. 
desktop and then you can just name it whatever you want I'm just going to name it capture 2 because the other one was capture and like I said as long as this is PNG or whatever you don't need to mess with that now if it says this just hit yes as long as you want to uh, overwrite it see I keep capture 1 2 3 4 5 all the way going I just said capture so I don't name anything important capture because all my captures are screenshots all right so now your third oh yeah now with Windows 8 Windows 8 you're not gonna have a start button unless you download a program so I am using the start menu I'm sorry start is back is the program I'm using for this but for Windows 8 if you don't have a start button you can right click go to personalize click this and go to the desktop and then this is how you can save your stuff here um, now if you're searching for paint in Windows 8 you go up here to the top right hit the little search type paint and there's paint right here on the left you can just click that and it opens up paint and then if you can do the same thing snipping tool and then again it brings up your snipping tool so that's how you can search if you don't have a start button like I do alright so now you have saved it on your desktop your desktop is here so let's see if we can find our captures so our captures would be there's one capture right here and then there should be another capture around here somewhere Alright, so let me uh, sort by name. Sort by name. Alright, so now let's see here. Alright, capture two. There we are. So these, if you look over here on the right, the top right of my screen, I have the two captures right here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload them to Facebook. So just go to Facebook.com. 97 notifications. Why Facebook? Why? So there's a um, if you want to upload them to the actual status you can just click this or here and then upload photo and then you can go to click that go to desktop and then you can just type capture and then once it's done here then you just hit post and see and you uploaded a new photo. If you want to do it to the chat here, you open up a random or well, whatever instant message you want. You click here and make sure that says desktop. And then you uh, send, you know, you just click whatever photo you want. So I'm going to send capture two to this this guy right here. I am. Recording a video. Ignore this picture. LOL. All right, but yeah, see, and that's how they do it. And so then, some, once you send it, you just click it, and then it'll open up like that. So, watch how quick I can use this snip tool to capture something. All right, so click that snip tool file save as capture yes and then just type capture boom 
So, yeah, that's the two ways to do a screenshot. Now, <laughs> that's awesome. Now, the third way, uh, there's a third way to actually save your screenshots, and what that is is uh, on your on your keyboard. If you have a Windows key, you can hit the Windows key and the Print Screen button. All right, and this works with uh, Windows 7 and 8. So, right here, they have it right here. The Windows key right there. And then the print screen right there. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. It's not going to let me. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's the thing else that's good for this through the snips. You snip, do that. You'd actually right click and hit copy. And go to paint. Paste. And now we can zoom in. Alright, so it's the Windows key right there. Hopefully it'll have them the same. Alright, so here we go. It's this. Uh, this one right here. The Windows key. And then the print screen right there. That one. So you push the Windows key, hold hold it down, and then you're going to push that. And so what that will do, the screen will flash, and so if you go to this start button, click your name, and then click, um, yeah, what is it, my pictures, right here will be a folder called screenshots so I'm just going to name one real quick and then when you open it up the screenshot will be there now what I did with my folder is I cut it to my desktop so you right click hit cut and so it disappears like that and then you go all the way back to your desktop here right click and then hit paste and then here's my screenshots folder right here so you open it up and there's my screenshot that I just took and so it's right here so this way I don't have to hit file save it'll automatically save it to this folder and then you'll do it the same way if you find an instant message box here or on here and then this time you're on your desktop but now you just want to go to the screenshots folder and see there it is so you just click that open and there you go and so that is how to upload a Facebook a screenshot to Facebook using the three different ways and then if you're on Windows 8 that screenshot folder will still work the same way, except um, you're gonna. And an easy way to do it without the start button: right-click here, go to personalize, click here, and then click your name, and then open up my pictures. And then, like I said, that that screenshot folder would be here. So you can just click it, hold the left mouse and drag it, and then see how it says move to desktop. You could just click that and let go, and it would move it to your desktop. So, like for instance, here I'll move it, move to my pictures. So, this is where your screenshot would normally be. So, you just click hold it, move to desktop. There you go. So, now this way, the only reason I like it on my desktop is so that when I go to upload a photo like this, I can go to my desktop and then the screenshot folders. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about going through my name and all that. I just go to the desktop. And then the screenshot folder. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video so that everyone can know. See ya.